to the right. Uh, Let's see. Yogi, you want they a look like beavers. They kind of do. They look like all sorts of different weird animals twitched together. They had some or a rat, mm -hmm. like a mix. Mm -hmm. They're just this weird clumping it together. They have all sorts of cool adaptations. Um, they live in the trees, and so they're really good at climbing. So they have these long, long tails that can actually grip things. So they have prehensile tails, and their back ankle joints turn about 180 degrees, which allows them to climb face first up and down. I want to see your belly. Here. We think Maru might be pregnant. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You've got Prager belly, but you're hungry all the time. Yeah. We've been watching her fat now. This is one of the few species we actually are actively working to breed. Hi, I want to see your tummy. You gotta do one more little thing for me. I want to see good nipples. Here. They get all up in your stuff. They get all up in your stuff real quick. She's like, thank you. Mm -hmm. And do they eat meat also, or? They are classified as carnivores because of the way their jaws are structured. Yeah. But um, they have a very fruit-heavy diet. Uh, in the wild, their main function is propagating the strangler fig, which makes up the majority of the foliage of the Southeast Asian rainforest ecosystem they're from. And so, basically, if you run into a situation where you don't have enough spinnerons, you're not going to have enough foliage in the canopy, and it's going to lead to ecosystem degradation. Oh. Yeah, they're very, very 